learn about some unique patterns of the calendar. Gaggu is showing magic to all the villagers today. He has made a huge calendar on the stage. First, he called two people on stage. Babban and Chanda immediately got on the stage. He asked both Chanda and Babban to choose a date and make a circle on it. They have to keep in mind that while choosing the date, the date should not be in the last vertical or horizontal line of the month. Chanda chose the date 7th and Babban chose the date 19th. Now, Gaggu asked both of them to add their chosen date and the date written in the diagonally opposite direction. Chanda added 7 and 15 in this way. Children, sum of 7 and 15 is 22. Now, Babban added 27 in 19. Adding 27 to 19 equals 46. Now, Gagu told Chanda and Babban that they had to take the next date from their chosen date and add it with the number written diagonally in the backward direction. Chanda quickly added 8 and 14 and got the answer as 22 again. And Babban too, by adding 26 to 20, got the number 46 itself again. Chanda and Babban were shocked and all the audience started clapping loudly. Gagu told the audience that they could try this magic by choosing any date in the calendar. Come, let's see what more magic is Gagu showing on the calendar now. Gagu invited another person from the audience on the stage. This time, Appu has come on stage. Gagu asked Appu to choose one of the horizontal lines of the calendar. All he has to keep in mind is that the horizontal line should not be incomplete. Appu chose the horizontal line with these dates. Now Gagu asked Appu that which of these numbers is exactly in the middle of this horizontal line. Appu immediately pointed to 15 and said, This one. Now Gagu asked him, What would be two times this number? Children, can you tell how much is 15 times 2? Correct! 30! Gagu wrote 30 on the paper. Now, Gagu told Appu that he had to add the first and last numbers of that horizontal line. Children, can you tell what 12 added to 18 is? Perfect! 30. Now, Gagu told Appu that even if he added the second and sixth numbers of that horizontal line, his addition would still be 
30. Children, is this correct? Yes, Gagu is right. If we add 17 to 13, we will still get 30. Now in the end, Gagu told Apu that even if he added the third and fifth numbers of that line, the answer would still be 30. Children, can you tell how much would 14 added to 16 be? Oh wow! This is also 30! Gagu told all the audience that they could try this magic with the numbers written in any horizontal line of the calendar. The audience thoroughly enjoyed the magic of Gagu's calendar and happily returned to their homes. Children, in this video, we learned about some unique patterns of the calendar. In the next video, we will see some more interesting patterns of the calendar. children. In the previous video, we learned about some unique patterns of the calendar. In this video, we will see some more interesting patterns of the calendar. Minu was very excited after seeing Gagu's magic. She went to sleep that night thinking about Gagu's magic. Minu was dreaming that she knows how to fly. She flew to Golu's house. She saw a calendar there. But there was something special about this calendar. Diagonal number pairs like this were shining on it. Minu felt that just like Gagu had shown the magic of the calendar, there might be some magic hidden in these numbers too. Children, do you see a pattern in the groups of these diagonal numbers? If you wish to, you can stop the video and think of the answer. If we look closely, we will find that there is a pattern in these diagonal numbers. Let's see. First, we will look at the group of 3 and 9. Children, if we subtract 3 from 9, how much will it be? Absolutely correct! 6. Now, if we see the next pair of numbers, 4 and 10, then, oh, what is this? After subtracting 4 out of 10, once again, 6 is left. Yes, children, we will find the same pattern in any such pair of two diagonal numbers in the calendar. The difference between those two numbers will be 6. Minu got very excited upon seeing this pattern. Now Minu thought that she should fly to Chanda's house and see what Chanda is doing. When she reached Chanda's house, she saw that Chanda was encircling two dates like this on her calendar. Minu started wondering if there is a pattern in these two numbers too. Children, can you tell what the difference between 20 and 12 will be? Exactly! 8. Now, 
Meenu saw these next two pair of numbers. Children, what will be the difference between 21 and 13? Yes, this difference will also be 8. Children, you will find that the difference between such diagonal pair of numbers in the calendar will always be 8. Meenu became even happier on seeing this calendar pattern. She started dancing happily. Just then, her alarm started ringing and she woke up from her dream. But Meenu still remembered the magic of the calendar she had seen in her dream. She decided to show that magic to her friends the next day and switched off her alarm and went off to sleep again. Children, in this video we saw some more interesting patterns of the calendar.